Hi everybody, this is Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Um, this is going to be um, what direction are you and this person headed in? So what direction are you and them headed in? Um, I've got one card here from the Romance Angel um, for you to pick and then we will draw cards from other decks as well. But this is just the initial card, um, you know, just for you to pick. So the first one is going to be the rose. So if you're drawn towards that, that's the first reading. The second one is the rainbow. If you're drawn towards that, that is going to be the second reading. And the third reading is going to be the peace sign charm. So if you're drawn towards that, that is going to be the third reading. Um, we will also do a yes, no coin flip. Um, for each reading as well. So I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and I'm going to let you guys pick and then we will begin. Okay, so number one, if you pick the rose, let's see what your first card is. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So whoever you've come here asking about, um, you guys are definitely headed in the direction of love. Um, I feel this is a strong connection with this person, definitely. Um, they have a lot of feelings for you. Um, I feel like this is a divine connection, you know, that... Um, you know, you guys were brought together for a reason, you know, you were put on a path, um, towards this person. So you guys may have a lot in common. Um, you guys, you know, have this chemistry. Um, you know, I see this as a long-term relationship with this person, um, with the true love card. Okay, we got the devil card. So, um... This connection, I see, you know, there have been a lot of problems. Um, I feel like there may have been codependency issues with this person. Um, you know, I also feel that um, this person may, you may feel like they're a temptation to you. Um, you know, you may, you may be afraid to um, explore things with this person. Um, you know, maybe you guys have had some things in the past that happened that, um, you know, you're just very cautious about this person. I feel like you don't know if you can trust this person. Maybe you feel like, um, you know, they, they will manipulate you in some way or, um, you know, maybe they are a person who, um, likes to control you. You know, maybe, um, I see these person this person as chained so maybe you feel you know this person may um want to control you and 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 you don't want that the hanged man so i think maybe um you know you guys both both might be taking a time out from this relationship taking some time to figure out um you know, just, just what should you do? Um, you know, becoming enlightened at the same time. Just really getting connected with your higher self is what I'm feeling with this reading so far. The King of Pentacles. So there may be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially Capricorn with the Devil card. So um, this person may be a Capricorn. You may be a Capricorn. Um... But the King of Pentacles is someone who is a little bit stubborn, a little bit bullheaded. Um, we see the bull symbol, um, you know, on his throne here. So this person can be a little bit stubborn, can be bullheaded, but um, they are a person who's dependable. They are a person 
that you can trust. So if you if you do have some reservations about um, this person, then I feel like um, that that may be why you're taking the time to yourself to try to contemplate and see. You know, I do feel there's love in this connection, though. The King of Swords. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person's very logical. This person um, is ruled by their head. They're they're very smart. They're very, um, you know, they can, they can, you know, figure things out. They they're really good logically and um, emotionally. You know, they keep that to themselves. You know, so maybe you are trying to figure out, trying to see the, you know, is this person, you know, do they want to control me? Do they want to manipulate me? Um, I feel like you are, um, you're going within and you're, you're, you're not being ruled by your emotions right now. You are not being ruled by your emotions. You're clearly thinking about things. And then we've got the queen of wands. So the queen of wands, um, this is Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person, um, you know, she's warm, she's caring, um, you know, she, she won't put up with, with any, anything either, you know, she's not the type that would let someone manipulate her, so, you know, I feel like you are in this energy of, you know, being in charge, you know, knowing that you're not going to let anybody burn you, especially with the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So you guys both might be on defense at the time, at this time. The Nine of Cups. So I do feel like um, there is love here. There is love in this situation. Um, but I, this, you know, this person, I always see them as being alone. So this person, um, they may be holding on to their emotions. You may be holding on to your emotions, um, at this time. But what direction is this heading? I think right now, um, you know, you guys are, you guys are both going within, you guys are, you know, being very logical, you know, wanting to um, keep your emotions in check. So this person, they're keeping their emotions to themselves, you know, um, until they figure out the next move to make. But there is love here, you know, but there could have been some things um, that make you a little bit cautious about this person. Or they're cautious of, of you. So let's get some gypsy cards to go with this. But I think the direction that you guys are headed for right now, I think it's hitting the pause button and trying to think clearly and, you know, figure things out before you let this person know about how you feel. Because you're not sure if you can trust this person. You're not sure what this person's intentions are. So you want to, you know, hit the pause button and really try to tap into your intuition about this person. The sadness card. Okay, so, you know, there could be sadness, you know, about this connection. Maybe for right now... You know, you're, you're really, you don't want to move forward because your emotions are, they're not in the strongest place right now um, because of maybe being manipulated in the past or being controlled in the past. You, you're really cautious of moving forward. You don't want to go back to that sadness or maybe you're, you're thinking about that sadness that you felt. So you're really... You're keeping your emotions in check. Definitely, I feel like you guys are both holding in your emotions. Constancy. 
So with this card, it means two things. It means things are constant. Things aren't changing right now. So what direction are you headed in? Right now, nothing is changing. But I also see with the constancy card, this person is a constant in your life. And, you know, they are your true love. And they're constantly, you know, it's like they're they're not going anywhere. They're a constant in your life. They're going to be there. So there's no need to hurry. So I feel like that's why the King of Swords is here. So it's it's taking the time to think about things, you know, contemplate things before you move forward because you don't you don't want to be hurt by a person that, you know, wants to control you or manipulate you. So I feel like yeah. So I feel like yeah. Right now, what direction are you headed in? It's kind of stagnant. Money. Okay, so this person, they may be working on their finances right now with the King of Pentacles and the money card. I feel like this person, they're working on their money right now. They're trying to build. They want to be this King of Pentacles. They want to have things to offer. They do have a lot of love for you, but... Um, I see this as a card where, you know, the person is alone. The person, they're they're keeping their emotions. This person is also kind of closed off. You see his arms are crossed. So this person's closed off. But they're working on their money right now. So what direction are you headed in? Right now, things are stagnant. With the constancy card, things are stagnant. So things may change. Let's do your yes, no. But that's what I see right now. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, number one, the answer is yes. So if you need a little bit more, um, then yeah, shoot me an email because I'm open to personal readings right now. So it's amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. So thank you for coming and we will see you again soon. Okay, number two, if you pick the rainbow, let's look at your first card. You got healing family issues. Your love life benefits from forgiving your parents. So I feel like you or this person, both of you, could have some pain um, due to childhood wounds. Um, you know, maybe the way you handle relationships um, is kind of unhealthy. And you're working on yourself right now. I feel like you and this person are both working on yourself right now. Um, I'm drawn towards drawing some more Romance Angels cards for you. But yeah, this person, um, I feel like they do have childhood wounds. They're aware of it and they're working on healing it. So they know that the way they handled this relationship wasn't exactly healthy. Um, but they may have had, the way they grew up, the relationships that they saw as they were growing up were very unhealthy. So in a way, you know, if you grow up seeing unhealthy relationships, then, you know, subconsciously you're going to be drawn towards these unhealthy situations. So this is really realizing that, you know, that's not what you want to do, you know, becoming enlightened as to what is good and what's bad so it, it's really growing it's really um you know realizing what is healthy and what's not healthy and attracting more healthy relationships let your friends help ask and accept support from others so i feel like um you guys are both going to um friends, family, um, getting advice from people around you about this because, you know, there, there could be some issues that you guys need to heal. So you guys are really trying to get support from the people that you trust, the people that care about you because you know they're going to give you good advice. They're going to, they're going to, um, 
help you to heal this relationship because I feel like in this relationship there is healing that's needed okay this card just fell out the wedding card so I feel like this is a deep connection um, you guys did have a commitment and I feel like this person does want to heal things so if there are problems or were problems in this relationship this per person really wants to heal um, those issues so they're they're trying to get support from outside people from friends people they trust um, so you guys can head in a good direction because this is where are we heading so if you feel like if this is a progression then you guys are definitely heading in the right direction you know you guys are headed towards um, you know a, a commitment definitely or that's, you know, where this person wants to head is to a better place, you know, to a place where there's a commitment, you know, there's love, there's a union. Justice card. So, you know, I feel like you guys are balancing things. You guys are, um, you want to do what's right for everyone in the situation. Um, you know, you want things to be fair to both people you want things to be just um this could be the sign of libra it doesn't have to be but the justice card i see about um setting things right you know getting the karma worked out you know getting things balanced again so um it's really a good card as far as you know relationships go it's you know, give and take. It's it's keeping everything fair to both parties. So, very good card. The Ace of Pentacles. So, this person wants to make an offer to you. Um, you know, I feel like it's just the beginning of this or a renewal of this. But they do want to have something to offer you. Um, maybe to show you, you know, that... Um, they really care about you. So I feel like there could be an opportunity. There could be an offer. There could definitely be a proposal with the wedding card and the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a proposal coming for you. Um, so that could be the direction that this is headed in. But um, yeah, this, this card just fell out. So I feel like you guys still need to heal some issues, some conflicts um, that you guys have had. So... That can be the only thing that's stalling this moving to the next level. It's figuring out, you know, the fights, the conflicts, you know, um, healing, healing this connection, healing the past. You know, if there, there have been arguments. The Four of Pentacles. So I feel like this person's really focused on their finances right now, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. This person, they are really, really focusing on their money. Um, they could be being a little bit possessive of um, their finances right now or holding on to their finances very tightly. Um, it can be a good card um, about conserving resources, you know, not spending recklessly, knowing that, you know, you have to save. Um, but it can be a, a card of hoarding and not sharing. So that could be one of the conflicts that you guys have had is of being, you know, sharing. Or maybe this person was possessive of you. Maybe that could have been something that needs to be healed maybe there could have been fights of you know this person being very possessive of you and that caused a lot of arguments i also see that with this card so the the four of pentacles always you know uh, it can mean a lot of different things but that's what i'm seeing here so victory this person you know they do want victory with you they do want to move in the direction of a commitment you know definitely with the six of wands this person wants victory they want to head in the direction of commitment with you and for things to be fair for things to be just um 
but there are some issues that need to be healed, you know, as far as the fights that you guys have had, maybe a person being possessive, controlling. We just had a card fall out. Okay, the High Priestess. So um, I feel like your intuition is coming, you know, in strongly with this card. So this is a person who she really, you know, um, she has a strong connection with the other side, you know, she can see beyond the veil. Um, and, and so they may see you as a person who is very wise, you know, that holds the answers. Um, you know, if you're coming to tarot readings, then maybe you already have a lot of insight as to what's going on in this relationship. So they could see you as the person that holds the answers um, to you know, what to do here. So they do see you as a very wise person, a very intuitive person. Um, you know, someone who's, you know, woke. <laughs> someone who, um, uh, yeah, knows the secrets of the universe. So they, I feel like that's one, they, one of the reasons why they want to make this offer to you is because they really they look up to you in a lot of ways um yeah okay and the seven of pentacles so really this person right now they are really um they're wanting things to grow they're still waiting for things to come to fruition um you know but they do want things to grow they do want things to you know, move to the next level with the wedding card, you know, they, they do want, oops, yeah, the house, so they do want to move in with you, they do want to have a home with you, um, they want this, this to be healed, you know, so they're really trying to figure out how to, how to heal this, how to heal this, so you guys can, you know, make that next step you know moving in together being committed to each other um so they're really they're going to their friends for support they they want to figure out well how can i heal this so, so they may be you know watching tarot readings you know trying to figure out how to make this work how to make this grow that's what this man is trying to do he wants things to grow and with the justice card right here too, you know, doing it in a fair way, fair to everybody, um, trying to keep things balanced, um, you know, any arguments, you know, working them out. They see you as, you know, their love, you know, they see you as the person they want to be with, their, the perfect wife. So they really want to move this in the direction of a commitment um, if you pick the rainbow. So let's do your yes, no. Oh, shoot. I dropped it. <laughs> okay. So you got no for right now. So whatever you ask, the answer is no. But that that coin was jumping out of my hand. So it really, things can change, I feel like, um, after you guys work out these these healing issues that you need to so thank you for coming um if you need something else you know email me amanda rose tarot at hotmail.com i'm definitely willing to help you so number three if you pick the peace sign charm let's look at your card you got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so what direction are you guys heading in? Um, you guys are heading into maybe taking some time together um, to enjoy each other's company, to get to know each other. Um, this could be the honeymoon stage of a romance, like the beginning of, you know, um, the connection. Or maybe it's a, a reconciliation, um, getting back to, you know, um, that love, you know, just taking time together to retreat from others and, and just work on your connection together. So it could be, you know, an actual honeymoon for some people. It could be, you know, 
uh, going away after getting married, or it could be the honeymoon stage, um, just the beginning. You've got the Three of Wands. So this is a person who is waiting for their ships to come in. Um, so this is moving beyond the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is making um, a decision, you know, a crossroads, which way to go. So this person has moved beyond the Two, and now they're at the Three. So if you can see, their hand is on a Wand, so they have chose a direction. So I feel like with the Honeymoon card and the Three of Wands, they have chose the direction to move towards you. But, you know, this could be just the initial stages, because... At the three, you know, this person has decided that they want to be with you, um, but, you know, it, it's still the beginning stages is what I feel. The two of wands. So there's um, still decisions that need to be made, you know. it. I feel like they have decided about you, but they're still confused as to what to do next. So it's really kind of a wait and see card with the two of swords. Um there can be conflicts. There can be conflicts. Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands. So this person, uh, I feel like they're, they have a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot of burdens. So um, right now, you guys may not be in communication or limited communication. Um, but they do want to move things to the next level. You know, with the Honeymoon card, I feel like they do want to spend some time together maybe that would help because maybe it's a burden that you know if you guys are in separation it's it's a heavy burden on them yeah with the two of cups definitely um if you guys are in separation this is a heavy burden to them they want to be with you they really want to be with you um they want to have time alone with you they have decided that they want to move in your direction but they're still kind of confused as to how to do this. I feel like you guys are at a deadlock because the power is equal on both sides. You know, it's, it's, it's not knowing quite yet. So you got to wait for the fog to clear to really know, but this person is definitely in their head. The hangman. So the hangman and the two of swords, both cards of, you know, being alone and thinking a lot, you know, so this person, I feel like they are taking the time to themselves to figure things out, definitely figure things out because they could, they can be a little confused. The four of pentacles. So we got this in the last reading and it, I still feel the same way. You know, this person, they're working on their finances. They're saving their money. They're not spending it recklessly. They want to have, you know, possessions. They want to have um, assets, but they could be holding on a little bit too tightly. Um, maybe there are some issues of, you know, a person who is possessive too, you know, that could be one of the things I, I do sometimes see with this card. Um, they could want to hold on to you very tightly. Maybe that's why they want to get away with you so they can hold on to you. They don't want to lose you, I feel, um, because there's a strong connection with the two of cups. Yeah, the empress. So they see of you, they see you as this beautiful woman um, this motherly figure who's very nurturing, who's very loving, who's very caring, um, who loves unconditionally. Um, so that could be why they want to hold on to you so tightly. They don't want to lose you um, because they see, you know, the worth in you. You know, they see that you are worth it. So, you know, they do want to work on this connection. They do want to um, spend some time with you. So that could be the direction that you're headed in. I feel like this person is also healing. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of water here. So their emotions are coming into play. And with this two of swords too, there's a lot of water there. So are, there are a lot of emotions here, trying to keep your emotions balanced. Um, because there could be a lot of emotions in this connection is what I'm feeling. There could have been conflicts as well. It could have something to do. We got these same two cards in the last reading. 
So this person, they could have problems um, with holding on too tightly, um, being a little bit too possessive, because they do see, they do see you as the perfect wife, and that could be why they're, you know, they want to get away with you. They want to get away with you. But I feel like there have been some conflicts that, you know, you guys do have to work out here. I'm going to pick some gypsy cards. Okay. We're going to pick some gypsy cards and then I'm going to finish this up before I run out of memory on my, my phone. But yeah, I feel like you guys do have some things to work out. But you're headed in the direction of love. You know, with the two of cups, definitely this person, they still have a lot of love for you. And they want to spend some time, maybe go away to, you know, some place, um, a retreat. Um, or they just want to, they want to move things to the next level where you guys move in together. I get that a lot from the house card because they see you as a very nurturing person, like a motherly figure. Um, so, you know, they, they do want to move things to the next level, definitely merriment so they have a really great time with you they want to spend time with you maybe going out maybe dancing um just having a good time together enjoying each other the thought card so with all three of these cards the two of swords the hanged man and the thought card this person is thinking a lot this person is very very much in their head right now trying to figure out what direction do they want to move in because they do want to head towards you but they're struggling. They're really struggling right now. They have a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot of burdens. Anger issues. So this person could be working on anger issues that they have. Um, maybe in the relationship, you know, there were a lot of conflicts. There were anger issues. There were controlling issues. But I feel like this person wants to work on the connection. You know, at least, at least they're realizing that. Um, there were a lot of issues. They they want to take a trip towards you. They want to come towards you. They want to overcome obstacles and move towards you. Definitely with the journey card. So let's do your yes, no. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, number three, the answer is yes. So um very good reading. I hope you like that. If you need something more, then shoot me an email, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. I am definitely willing to help you if you need some more answers. So thank you for coming. Love and light to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more readings. Thank you. Bye-bye.